In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create multi authentication using Laravel 11. And also, I am going to show you how to use the multi guard system in order to make this operation. So, first go to the Laravel documentation, and in the Laravel documentation, go to the search and search by Breeze. So this is actually the section that is getting started, starter kits and here you will see the Laravel Breeze. And when you will install Laravel Breeze in your Laravel application, then a complete login, complete registration, forget password, reset password system will be automatically installed. So I am going to show you so that you can understand. This is my root of my local host triple w and here i create laravel 11 folder and here i am going to create a fresh laravel so i am going to install a fresh laravel here using the composer command so composer then create project then laravel laravel and i am going to give the name multi auth so if you uh, see here you will see a multi auth folder is going to be created here the installation uh, the installation is going to be completed yes done that means a fresh laravel is now installed into here and the folder name is multi auth here right so i am going to run this one now so php artisan serve i am going to run the development server so they give me a link i am going to copy and put it into my browser and you will see that the Laravel 11, which is installed, it will come here now. You see, this is the newly installed Laravel and the version is Laravel 11.7.0. Okay. So I am going to work here. First, remember that here, this is actually a fresh Laravel. I am going to open that with my VS Code editor and everything is given here. Now I am going to install the Breeze. Uh, in the installation of Laravel Breeze, they tell me the complete installation process here. You see, uh, for, you should create a new Laravel application. Okay, so this is already I have installed now. And then I will install the Breeze. So the composer command to install the Breeze is composer require Laravel Breeze dev. I am going to copy this one. And now opening uh, my multi auth folder into my VS Code editor. I am going to terminal and here I am going to run the command that is composer require Laravel Breeze dev. Enter. You will see that the Breeze is going to be installed here. Okay. The Breeze is installed. I am going to clear this. Okay. So this is the first step. Another step is Breeze installed. First, I have just copied it from the um, and I have installed the package and now I am going to install it. So PHP artisan breeze install. This is the first command. I am going to paste it and it is asking me how it will install. It will install for the blade or, or it will install for the live wire or if you want to install it with react and inertia or Vue inertia. So there are many options you can select here and for API only you can also install it. I am going to install it for the blade file because I will use the blade system here. So the first one by default which is given, I am not going to change, just press enter. Then it is asking, would you like to, um, would you like dark mode support? I do not actually need to support the dark mode right now. So no is okay. I am going to press enter. Which testing framework do you prefer? PSP unit is completely fine. I am going to enter. So it is going to be installed on your computer. So just uh, wait for some time so that breeze installation is done. So it is going to be installed. It can take some time. And in uh, meanwhile, I'm going to um, show you after this step is done, you will have to use total three other steps. Uh, PSP artisan migrate. Uh, so all the database and tables will be created in this step in this stage and there will be npm install and npm run dev okay so here let's check uh, yes breeze scaffolding installed successfully so my task is done i am going to clear it okay 
So before running the migrate command, I am going to env file because I will need to create a database here. Here you see that DB connection is SQLite. I am going to use my SQL. So instead of, uh, instead of uh, SQLite, I am going to put my SQL here. So I will have to uncomment all this and here my database name is for example multi auth. My application name is multi auth and I create um, that database in the same name of my application. Username root and password is in my case this one. In your case it can be different so use your password and username here. After this I am going to run PHP artisan migrate but uh, if I go to PHP my admin um, you will see that there is no database created by multi auth right you see now here if I run this command it will ask me if I want to create a database by the name multi auth it is asking to create by this name because I um, named it db underscore database equal to multi auth so it is asking me if it will create it or not uh, by default yes is select so it is okay I am going to press enter so okay so complete migration is done if I go here refresh you see that multi auth is created and also all the tables are migrated here automatically. So this was the second step um, and then I am going to use npm install and npm run dev. So go here npm install okay and another command is npm run dev. I already have opened a server so I do not actually need to again run this local uh, server that it gives me it is not actually needed so I am going to close it okay just uh, go to the application now and refresh you will see that a nice login and uh, registration um, link comes so if I click on login you see a nice system already have developed here uh, you know, already the forget password is given here and login if I click here it is asking me to login if you want you can create a new account here by the, your name email password confirm password if I go here multi auth you will see the users table are given so here if I create anything here then it will be saved in this table so for example I am going to create a new user is Smith email is this one password is password it is password okay so click on register you see that you already have logged in here so the registration is completed and you are logged in in this case you see if I go to profile the profile information email you can update your profile information if I go to the users table you will see that the user is inserted here name is this email is this email verified null password remember token created so the basic table has been created here with the user information if you change it for example Peter and like this then if you click on save it is saved if I now click on go to the users table you see that the database information is changed that means the name is Peter and email is Peter so a basic scaffolding is completed for the breeze and a complete nice dashboard login system with registration forget password etc comes here if you go to the login and if you go to the forget password it will send you an email so in order to check this you will have to um, set up the email address i have uh, you have to set up the smtp so i have um, uh, this mail trap in my uh, case i will use the mail trap system so that i can check the test email uh, you see that in in the env file there is a mail mailer right so here by default log is given i will use the smtp and for the smtp server i will use the mail trap for the testing and you see show all the show credentials are given here so i am going to set up it uh, and here mail host will be this and i am going to take the port is for example this one also username username is this one if i now go here this is the username and this is the password so I copy it paste it here encryption equal to TLS for example mail address I am not going to change hello at the rate of example.com app name this is okay now if it is working if I get anything in my inbox in order to check that uh, let's give your email address if you give a wrong email address here for example the Smith um, this email address is wrong 
we cannot find a user in this email address but if you give a correct email address uh, for example here is peter click here uh, it is going to send the email now in that email address so just wait for some time yes it tells me now we are we have emailed you password reset link right so if i go here mail tab now you see already an email comes here and it tells me to reset my password so they give me a link reset password this password reset link will expire in 60 minutes right so everything is uh, given here i am going to copy the link from here and in my browser i am going to paste it you see that the peter um, the email comes password and confirm password comes here. in the top you will see a nice token is um, generated here a key a long key so i am going to copy this now if you refresh you will be able to access this space but when the password is changed i am going again to give the same password reset password okay you see password has been set password has been reset and you are in the logged in so here i am going to uh, log in as peter so you see i am able to log in in this case so i hope you have understood how the basic setup is working if i refresh you will see that the password has been changed this is remember token that was here if you want you can clear this it actually depends on you how you will manage this and uh, there are many tables here you see by default many tables are created by laravel and uh, password reset tokens is will it will come here when you will go to reset the password if i uh, again go here if i again uh, ask to change the password you see the forget password uh, this page is expired now i again give it okay and if i go to this table password reset tokens you will see that a temporary token is given here right so that means when you will click here uh, this new email comes here now if i click on reset password this space is come and i give it the password is reset is completed yes the password has been reset now if you go to this table refresh you see there is nothing that means for a, a temporary time the, there will be an entry here when you will submit to reset the password here another important thing i will show you that is very important uh, that is i am going um, to when i am going to register as a user you see the user is straight logged in here i will now protect this i am going to users i am going to remove the user manually from here okay the user can also um, manually remove himself here uh, i am going to show you for example he is the smith a smith is a new user now he wants to log in in this system and he if he clicks on the register button he already logged in you see and this user can create change his profile update his password also he can delete his account if i click on delete account password is password delete account okay you see that um, this user is not here now because he deleted his own account but my main concern is when uh, when a person go to register here an email will be sent first to his email address so that he must have to verify his email and then after that he will be able to log in otherwise he cannot log in in this system if you want to manage this um, go to here because when you install breeze there's uh, then some things happen after installing the breeze this controller automatically is created that is profile controller you see okay also this auth folder was not by default in the laravel 11 but when you install breeze this auth folder and all the files inside this are created also if you go to views uh, sorry not here if you go to the resources if you go to the resources views you will see this auth folder comes this components folder comes and there is layout this was not here it also comes also profile folder comes and there is only welcome so dashboard blade file dot php this file uh, also comes 
if you go here you are logged in dashboard etc are given in this view and you see x app layout that's mean, that means it is uh, calling the components so all the components are given here which is input level component is this if you want to model if you see that the model component is given here nav link so this is given here if you want you can uh, edit anything um, that are given here according to your wish so uh, this is created and also another thing is created that is into the route if you go to the web.php you see all these codes from here to here are created and also a file is created auth.php if you come in this file you will see that all the routes are here created under the guest middleware this and also there is auth middleware and many other routes are created here okay now i am going uh, to here i am going to close all these that are given here okay now i am going to a file that is models and then user.php you see that masked verified email is commented here so i am going to uncomment it use illuminate contacts author auth masked verified email and here i am going to run thing that is in the authenticable uh, here i am going to call implements must verify uh, email if i use this now let's check it refresh register here i am going to call the smith smith gmail.com password is password confirm password is password if i click on register you will see that it is going to send me an email because i will not be able to log in now you see that if i go to user stable smith but email verified is not completed here it is showing null and as email verified is null you will not be able to log in i am going to here log out okay so now let's try to log in using the newly created user you will see that you are stopped here it is showing you thank you for sign up before getting started could you verify email address that means you uh, you sign your signed up is completed but you cannot see the page or see the dashboard because you did not um, verify your email so you will have to come here my verify email address this system already set up here i have just enabled this from the model you see users.php now you will have to click on verify email address click here yes you are logged in it straight takes you to the user dashboard now if you refresh here it is taking you to the dashboard so smith can work with his information now and he can see his profile and if you go to the table if i refresh you will see that under email verified at some entry will come here refresh you see that email verified at is not null now there is an entry when the email is verified the time is given here so you are able to logged in here 